I'm Dr. Gavin Svensson. I'm the curator and head of invertebrate zoology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And we're here in the entomology section of the museum and we're preparing for an upcoming expedition to Laredo, Peru in the lowland Amazon. We'll be there for two weeks and we're gonna stay at a research station up the, uh, the Amazon and we're gonna be collecting general insect samples. Uh, we're gonna be doing ecological studies within the research station area and I'll be collecting and looking for new species of praying mantises and also gathering vouchers for genetic work uh, in the future in the DNA lab here at the museum. Vouchers are basically specimens that we use for DNA work or morphological work that then serve as permanent uh, representatives of published work in the scientific literature. The research station is uh, pretty basic. There's, uh, I think there's a thatched roof and we have mosquito netting, no AC, no running water, uh, pretty basic uh, circumstances. Uh, there should be some other researchers there, but there might not be, I'm not too sure. And it's supposed to house uh, between 10 and 20 people and uh, also used for medical research, uh, for bioprospecting uh, within Peru. So right now, that part of Peru is in the middle of the rainy season, but not at the high point. We're just before the high point of the rainy season. So the Amazon will be fluctuating at maximum levels and will receive lots and lots of rain every day, and it'll be about 90 degrees and high humidity. So pretty standard every day, rain, wet, um, pretty tropical conditions. None of us have been to this region of Peru before, but I've been to southern Peru a number of times. Northern Peru offers an entirely different fauna of insects that we have not sampled before. Um, probably we'll have uh, greater access to uh, a lot more new species and samples that are quite limited in the collections in Europe and our collections here. Um, the other researchers that are going to go with have also never been to this region, um, so it's really a, a trial uh, expedition to see if we can start going here regularly and it's going to offer the type of environment that we want to sample in the future. So on this trip we're going to try a GPS locator beacon for the first time and through this beacon we can basically uh, send short text messages through a satellite uplink and these text messages will be posted to the museum's website and you can also look at the, the trip progress and the tracking logs of the expedition uh, through a map interface that the museum will post on the website eventually. You can follow our trip progress on cmnh.org and check back anytime to follow uh, trip updates and GPS coordinates of where we actually are.